Hi, I'm Alistair Cook, and this is part of the HPE V Brown Bag V uh, Build Day for the Hyperconverged 380 platform. Uh, we're the night before the actual live event, and so we've just spent the last two days doing a dry run and recording some interview content. And it was a good time to review that dry run. Um, you know, this is a real IT project. This is trying to do in, in half a day what you'd normally do over the course of a week deploying a whole new infrastructure for a customer. And so it's, it's challenging to make sure that we show a good process during the build day and show something that's realistic, but that we don't delay for four hours as we have an escalation that has to go through uh, the support team and, and show those problems. We need to show the resolution of those problems. We definitely don't want to hide that, that, that it is a normal IT product and, and there are problems as you deploy into a complex production environment. Uh, but we also don't want you to have to wait for it. And so this is why we, we go through the dry run and we expect to expose some faults in the dry run. And we learned quite a bit. Uh, we learned some things around the, the lab environment I bought. Um, was was not necessarily uh, a good representation of production particularly we hadn't isolated out the storage network from the management and, and the virtual machine network and one of the things we had to do to make the HC380 installer run nicely was to actually separate those out and put a router between the storage network and, and the management network which is absolutely a best practice but something you often ignore doing in a lab because it takes a lot more effort or a little more effort uh, so we've now put that in place and we're much more production like as we go through the this. and I think that's a really important thing that we'll be doing as we go onwards is making the, the customer environment that we bring along. Uh, we also learned a little, little bit more of the reminder that firewalls are going to cause you problems particularly if you forget that they're turned on. So one of the challenges we had was that the Windows firewall and an installer that didn't auto configure it and it took us a few cycles round to work out that that was the cause of our problem and you know, it's, it's a typical IT issue that the install takes a little while to run and the uninstall takes a little while to run and you're never quite sure unless you do an uninstall and a restart that you've, you've got a clean install this time around. So we had the usual IT project challenges. You're not going to see as much evidence of them tomorrow in the live stream but we'll still talk about them. I think it's important to highlight those things and, and highlight how they really mean that you need to plan for your environment and you need to plan for the deployment of new technology whereas for the, the uh, dry run we didn't do terribly much planning. We're looking really good for the actual build day tomorrow. I'm really comfortable that we're going to have a good experience of deploying the HC380 in the environment now that we've planned through and filled out all the numbers in the spreadsheet. It should be really fun um, doing that live production. It's <laughs> still a little stressful uh, but at least tonight we finished at five o'clock instead of around midnight last night that we yeah. finished up uh, as, as we went through, but particularly because the, the place that we were getting a recurrent problem in the, the deploy of the wizard, uh, it, it got to a point where, where the guys at HPE had to do the, the system reset, so they had to restore to factory condition the three node cluster that we have and you can imagine that that's not a two minute process it's not a, a four hour process happily it, it's under an hour to, to restore that three node cluster to a factory condition but when you have to do it three times in the evening that, that chews up quite a lot of time and it's so that we get a nice clean factory fresh system to, to build on tomorrow so uh, I think we're going to have a really good day tomorrow we should have lots to learn we've got some really interesting content already recorded in the, the pre-recorded segments that we'll play whenever there's some wait time. So during the actual live time you won't have to wait for us. We're going to have some things to, uh, to view during that time. And of course everything will be available on YouTube pretty soon afterwards. Uh, so do follow us uh, on Twitter and like our Facebook page to see what's going on with us. And also um, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and get all of the great V Brown Bay content that we produce. <laughs> We will have an excellent time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>